morning. I'm on my way to the bus station here in Kishinev. It's about a 25 minute walk away. And then I'll be going to Transnitria, uh, to the city of Tiraspol. So Transnitria isn't um, actually internationally recognized by any country, so it's like a breakaway state. Three other breakaway states recognize it, but it has its own currency, its own passport. You have to go through border control to get there. You're only allowed to stay for 10 hours, I think. And I heard the bus is about 35 lei. So what's that like? Two pounds or something each way. <laughs> snow and ice on the roads, the wind chill as well. Just uh, got some of that out. It's got like 25 notes. The exchange rate was 92 mark to 100 Transnitrian ruble. Um, so now I'm going to sort of find the sea, see what to do, try and get a bit of a, a bite to eat. But just have a wonder. Through the bolt, the bus was um, bus was um, like a mini bus type thing. And about halfway in in Moldova, but loads of people got on and then they all had to stand, uh, which wasn't too bad. And then we got to the border, and then uh, I got out. I went to the um, guy, showed my passport, and then he gave me this slip of paper. Yeah, basically, got given this slip of paper uh, my migration card, and I, I need that to leave the country. See if I lose that, and you're stuck here, but I think. Um, yeah, and then as I came out, like the border control thing, the bus started driving off, so I sort of had to chase it down and then get back on. And that piece of paper allows me to stay here for 12 hours. It was free to get in. And yeah, there were loads of checkpoints on the way, people with guns and stuff. The last bus is at 7 pm, but I doubt I'll be here that long. I was going to check out the other city, Bender, but. Um, a bit too complicated to get there. Probably would be better if I had like a high car, but too young for that. Too young for that.
exposed to some um, Czech people who are making a documentary about Transnistria. But um, I'm going to try and find like a souvenir shop and somewhere to get some food. I'm in some little cafe. I uh, just bought some food. It's really cheap. I've got no idea what it is, so I'll like, see what it's like. I'm guessing that's where you piss. That food was quite nice. The best way to describe it is like um, a sausage roll but with potato inside it instead of any meat. So I'm just going to walk down this road and walk back and find the souvenir shop find somewhere to get like some groceries and then probably shoot off. So there's three flags up there and I'm guessing they're um, the three sort of uh, also partially recognised countries that recognise Transnistria. That's the uh, monument, monument to Sovorov. I've pretty much done everything there is to do now in uh, Tiraspol, so I'm going to go back to the bus station now. It's so cold, like the wind's just beating me, even if my legs are freezing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head back. Um, would have liked to visit the town called Bender, but don't have enough time. Well, I do have enough time, but it's just too much of a fan getting there and back. So I'm hoping when I'm older, I'll hire out a car and come here. I went to a souvenir shop, but I didn't have any shop glasses to which I collect, so I'll, I'll settle for a flag instead. Uh... I didn't have any Moldovan currency at the time, and it was delayed. I was supposed to arrive at 11 in the evening, mm -hmm. but I arrived at... Say your name and where you're from. My name's Hayden, I'm from New Zealand. My name's Paul, I'm from the Netherlands. <laughs> Всем привет, меня зовут Салик, я с России, город Челябинск, куда упал метеорит. Hey guys, I'm Peter, I'm from the Czech Republic. Uh, <laughs>